Hey guys, welcome to Digital Screeny channel on YouTube and this would be a great time for you to hit the pause button, subscribe to this channel and hit the continue button. Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about extracting faces from images for deep learning training purposes. And I'm doing this video because I use this process, for example, for my GAN experimentation. When I'm doing, uh, for example, generating artificial faces, faces that do not exist. You wanna train a generative model on a whole bunch of faces, and then, uh, and then uh, ideally, you would like to uh, play with the attributes of these faces. I want, uh, I want someone with glasses and so on. So for any of those, the face is more important than the surrounding features. So if you work with images that you see on the top, they are great, except you have a lot of uh, information around the faces that is usually distracting and that may actually make your model a bit worse. So uh, I usually just go ahead and use these photos and our images and then just extract the face part so I can just uh, train my models. And if you really would like to do pretty much the same, this may be a, a good short video for you to watch. Okay, so uh, to continue here uh, from here, let's jump into the code and uh, literally go through probably less than 10 lines of code to do this work. Okay, so let's jump in. Now, first of all, I should mention why is it less than 10 lines of code? Because someone else already did the bulk of the work for us. So I'm going to use the OpenCV's HAR Cascades uh, trained models. So they have uh, eye detection, they have frontal face detection, they have cat face detection, I didn't even know that, and they have frontal face uh, uh, you know, detection and so on. Just go ahead and download this XML. I'll leave the link as part of the description and also as part of the code, uh, which you'll see in a, in a minute. And for GAN type of training, a good way of getting images is, uh, I like this Celeb Faces Attributes A, Celeb A dataset that comes with uh, many, many images. We'll see how many in a minute, but uh, this is just one gigabyte. And once you extract the files, I mean, you can see the this, this uh, folder, you get about, I have 202,599 images. And as you can see, these can be very distracting. Look at the background. I mean, it's of course the face is there, but then there is a lot of background right there. I just want the face part, okay? Uh, if you want the hair and everything, of course, uh, you can extend once you detect the face, but uh, for now, I'm only interested in the face part, okay? So that's the, that's the premise right now. So let's get into the code and have a look at these few lines. Well, I, I lied, this is not 10 lines. If I remove all the spaces, this could be 10 lines or 15 lines or so. But as you can see, this is pretty straightforward. We are completely working with OpenCV, that's it. So I'm using OpenCV and Glob to uh, read through the folders. And now this is the key point here. So I'm assigning our cascade classifier, which is our, uh, with a, with a uh, pre-trained model of har cascade frontal face default.xml and I am assigning that to a variable called face cascades. And within the face cascade now I can actually call a detect multiscale method to detect our uh, faces. So let's go ahead and call this and I'm defining the path where our uh, images are stored and I am starting the counter with image number one so I can go ahead and save my images with that extension. And let's go ahead and report the list of images glob dot glob path and we should see 202,599 images list right there of those let's only work with 25,000 yeah because it's uh, obviously I mean I'm not even going to execute this I'll show you the end result but uh, for file in image list 0 to 25,000 uh, uh, go ahead and do the following do what do first start by reading the image as color or RGB, well, with OpenCV, it's gonna be BGR. Go ahead and read that and convert that to gray because this applies only to gray images. Okay, so I need to convert my color image to gray. That's exactly what I've done right there. And then you apply face cascade dot detect multiscale gray. Go ahead and look at the documentation for what the other parameters are. But uh, this is exactly how you would uh, uh, apply this. And by the way, it detects even if you have multiple faces in an image. It detects multiple faces. It returns the multiple face uh, coordinates for you. Uh, but with the celeb data, uh, data set, we only have one face. 
Okay, so now go ahead and for each of these detected faces, what does this faces mean? Like when you do face cascade dot detect multiscale, it's going to give you the coordinates for each of the faces, which is X, Y, W, and H. So for each of these, go ahead and define your ROI region of interest on your original image, which is your color image, right? You're only using the gray image to detect the faces and go ahead and do that. And uh, that is your ROI. And then if you want to resize it, you can go ahead and resize it. Oftentimes for your uh, deep learning, you want 128 by 128 or 64 by 64, or if you're lucky to have a bigger GPU, 256 by 256. Either way, go ahead and resize it and save it into a folder called, in my case, I called it extracted faces. That's exactly what happened right there. So if I go back to extracted faces, there you go. These are all the faces that I have. Okay, and they're all going to be 128 by 128. So I don't need to do any type of processing when I get to my actual deep learning part. So this is a very short uh, video compared to my other videos. And I just wanted to make sure you guys know exactly how I do my pre-processing for this type, of, this type of work, like GANs, for example. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial to be useful. Again, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.